Hey folks, I know it's been forever since I last uploaded a battle, but hey, I'm back now, and I've got a battle for you today against Takachi88 of the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Um, it's a doubles battle, uh, and, you know, we're both using lower tier pokes, so that's all good. Um, this was the first in a very long day of battles. I'm calling it the Day of Doom, because every single battle I had over this 24-hour time span, I lost. Oh, spoiler alert! I'm sorry, but they were, you know, some of them were because I played like a moron. Some of them were due to really outrageous hacks. Some of them were just, you know, good battles that I lost. Um, but anyway, it was just a really, really, really bad day. And you'd think like three battles in, I would have just called it quits, but I didn't. I just kept on going, and that's why. I, and so this update schedule, this these next 16 battles are gonna have way more losses than I usually have in, you know, an update cycle. But, oh well, you win some, you lose some, you can't always have lots of wins. Anyway, leading off, I feel like I'm, I'm in a pretty good situation. My opponent goes ahead and paralyzes my Musharna. Not really gonna care about that unless I get the one in four uh, para hacks, because I'm running a Trick Room team. Uh, now this burn against my Steelix, that's gonna be a huge deal because my Steelix is by far the most menacing Pokemon on my team for Trick Room because it is so damn slow and now that it's burned it's really not going to be able to do very much damage at all to my opponent. I mean look at how little damage that did to Meltank. I mean, okay, fine, it's Meltank. Really uh, going for the Earthquake wasn't the best idea anyway because um, Misdreavus it has Levitate but whatever. Anyway, I get off my Trick Room. That's the, really the important thing. Hatterack is going to get called back. Going to go out into Angler, my Lantern, uh, because it has the Heal Bell and I think it'll hopefully be able to do a slightly better job than um, my Steelix was going to do. Uh, I go ahead and Toxic this <laughs> sexy ghost, this mystery, this, uh, just because it's almost certainly Violate. I don't really have many Dark or... Um, ghost type moves on my side. My opponent sets up Stealth Rocks, which is interesting. You don't often see Stealth Rocks in doubles. Um, but yeah, so I figured Toxic would be the easiest way to whittle down this Pokemon's health. Um, although it'll take a while, and now I see it's uh, running a Parish Song set, so that's gonna force me to switch out at some point relatively soon. Um, and it's also going to make this battle tons longer with all those extraneous um, announcements of all the Pokemon whose Parish counts are at X. So anyway, I get off the heal bell with my lantern. So really don't care about brain being paralyzed, but I do care about Steelix being burned. So glad that burn is healed. That is going to definitely matter. Uh, Mistrevious is going to go for a shadow ball against Musharna, but Musharna is basically a big, uh, is a big blob of bulk and has amazing bulk. So I really wasn't expecting that to be a huge deal. Uh, interesting. Miltank also runs the heal bell, so uh, that toxic was for naught. I mean, that didn't. I really would have been better off just straight up attacking with Psychic. Gonna want to withdraw Brain on the next turn. Uh, not only is Parish Count falling, and not only am I worried about worried about someone using Meme Look, but um, yeah, I, I mean, with a special defense drop, I'm pretty sure I could just get taken out by a Shadow Ball next turn. So I switch out into Mikhail, my Gallade. Um, not sure why. I mean, the Shadow Ball is still going to be super effective against them. That was actually kind of a stupid move. Oh, I guess I was going for the Drain Punch, I was thinking I could go for the Drain Punch against Miltank, but why would Miltank stay in with the Parish Count down to one after this turn? Anyway, yeah, uh, gonna take the Shadow Ball. Why did I just go into that Shadow Ball? Luckily, uh, Mikhail is bulky as anything and takes that hit rather well. Miltank uh, goes for the Body Slam, does a hefty chunk to Angler, uh, gonna pop my Air Balloon, which means that uh, Hatterack cannot use Earthquake around it. Um, uh, not the worst thing. Anyway, lots of Pokemon now have their Parish Counts down to one. I'm predicting a triple switch, uh, my Angler to be switched out, I know. I'm expecting both of his Pokemon to switch out on the next turn. So I send out Kudzulu, um, thinking that, well, uh, you know, with Regenerator, it's going to be a fairly good Pokemon to send out and then, uh, call back. So yeah, uh, here I see that one of the Pokemon he sends out is going to be the Spinarak. Um, sorry, not Spinarak, Ariados, and the other is going to be uh, Rotom, uh, Rotom uh, Cut Form. I go for the Fire Punch. Uh, too bad I didn't. I was actually expecting. I don't know who was. I think I was expecting Pinsir to come out. Um, 
And I was hoping it would come out in that slot. I don't know. Fire Punch seemed like a good idea. And it does an okay amount, but I kind of want to switch out here. Uh, although, I, I, I don't know why I wanted to switch out. I decided... Oh, right. Uh, fearing the Air Slash, like, whoa. Air Slash would be so, so bad. Um, so, Kazulu is also going to call back fearing an Air Slash. And I'm going to go out into Steelix thinking that I should pretty much be able to wall either of these Pokemon, no matter what they do with my Steelix. Uh, Cold Air goes for the trick... Uh, why I have no idea. Um, gonna he's I'm gonna get a uh, choice specs. That's actually pretty awesome. I'm not ha I'm not disappointed with that at all. Okay, I guess, I guess choice specs were for my Gallade, and so that's why. So anyway, my opponent sees that yeah, uh, um, that shell bell is kind of a useless item. Um, interestingly, swaps uh, for a power weight from my Steelix. I guess he was. Hoping for a leftovers or something, and hoping to, I don't know, cripple me. I mean, Shell Bell is Shell Bell is actually a pretty awful item to have. The reason my team has that Shell Bell at all is so that I can use this team on uh, random Wi-Fi, where that stupid item causes an effect. But really, when I'm doing a you know friend battle, I should take it out. But whatever. Anyway, a Rock Slide is going to be super effective against both my opponent's Pokemon. And I'm going to manage to get the KO. No, well, a crit didn't matter at that range of health. Are you kidding me? So I take out both of my opponent's Pokemon, and I've gotten the first two KOs of the battle, although several of my Pokemon are seriously, seriously hurting. But yeah, and that Shell Bell's going to be quite nice, actually. Uh, Tachikoma is, uh, is down to 38 HP. Uh, it's not going to survive for too much longer. Uh, anyway, Absol is now out, as is um, Pinsir. So... Pincer's Mold Breaker, uh, I did not foresee my opponent doing this. Um, Earthquake is going to hit Tachikoma as well because of Mold Breaker. He decides that he doesn't mind his Absol taking all that damage. Hatterack, my Steelix, gets taken down really low with that Earthquake. Holy crap, that thing must be banded, uh, I figure. And now my Steelix is going to get taken out by that superpower, so now I've gotten double KO'd. Uh, which sucks, especially considering those were two of the more menacing Pokemon on my team. So, especially for Trick Room. Um, so yeah, this battle is not, this is not a good situation at all for me. Not at all. Gonna go ahead and send my Gallade back out. Um, and I'm, in addition, I'm going to send out my Musharna. I'm thinking, uh... I'm actually not sure what I was thinking with Absol. Well, okay, Absol has, is at minus one. I was thinking there would probably be some switching going on. Um, and I go ahead and go for the Shadow Sneak against Absol, thinking that he'd switch into Misdreavus, considering that his pincer is almost certainly locked into that Earthquake. But no, he does not switch into Misdreavus. Uh, instead, stays and goes for the Earthquake. Uh, gonna fodder off Absol. Uh, so hey, I, I guess I can't really take credit for that kill. Mikhail's gonna get taken out from that earthquake. Brain is gonna survive. Again, amazingly bulky Pokemon. I'm gonna manage to get off a of Trick Room, and uh, the situation is going to be slightly better for me with that Trick Room up. Gonna send out Kudzulu, my Tangro. Uh, really, really happy about... Uh, that's actually weird. Oh, that's really weird, the order that Stealth Rocks took effect. I was like, wait, what happened to Stealth Rocks? Anyway, Pinsir's gonna get withdrawn back. Uh, not He's not gonna want to deal uh, that damage to Miltank. Uh, Brain is gonna go for the Moonlight. I was expecting some kind of switching to go on or something like that. Uh, and so just figure, recover back up as much health as you can. I here am going to go for the Sleep Powder against Miltank. Just figure, get it out of the running, that way I only have to focus, focus on one Pokemon at once, and hopefully that Pokemon will stay asleep for a good amount of time, and also hopefully it doesn't have Sleep Talk. I don't know if Miltank can even run Sleep Talk, but just don't want to have to deal with that at all. And so now I'm thinking, okay, this is pretty good. Brain goes for the Psychic against Miltank, uh, does an okay, actually does a lot of damage, it actually KOs thanks to a crit. Not sure whether that crit mattered, I'll put it in the annotations whether it did. Kazulu's gonna go for the knockoff, get rid of that Eviolate. Uh, that's gonna make it considerably easier to kill, I figure. And what's that thing gonna do? It's gonna go for another Parish Song. That is annoying. That is seriously annoying, especially considering I only have three Pokemon left. So, the smart move, well, the thing is, if I do switching, then that's gonna sacrifice a turn, uh, you know, that's gonna sacrifice an attack and um, waste a turn of Trick Room, basically. And so, yeah, not really something that I wanna do. Anyway, go for the Psychic against. Miss Drevis, 
Uh, it does uh, about half. That's great. Uh, sleep powder misses. Ah! Oh my god! Had sleep powder hit, uh, I would be in so much of a better situation. Anyway, Brain is going to take that shadow ball. Uh, going to be down to about half health. And now an X scissor is going to take out my Musharna. That's okay. If any Pokemon had to be taken out, I'd rather it be Musharna. So, um, bye bye, Brain. You did. You actually did a great job in this battle. I am very very impressed. Um, when I'm when I remake this team for Black and White 2, which uh, but the, the next time you see this team, it'll have many. Actually, the next time you see any of my teams after this update cycle, uh, they're going to have tons of modifications uh, from Black and White 2. But one of them is going to I am going to keep around my Musharna. Originally, the idea was um, put Gardevoir Telepathy Gardevoir in, but no, I really like how Musharna is doing on this team. Anyway, my opponent's now down to his last Pokemon. I go for the Thunderbolt, uh, he goes for the X-Scissor against Kazulu. Um, I am hoping that I can take that, and indeed I do, I'm like, yes! Now he can only take out one of my Pokémon next turn, so no matter who he takes out, the other should be able to kill at that range. So he decides to target Lantern, goes for the X-Scissor, it is going to take out my uh, Lantern due to a crit, I will tell you whether that crit mattered, I suspect not, but maybe. Go for the power up. No, I know it's resistant, but still the attack that's going to do the most amount of damage. Uh, I carry hidden power ice. And he survives on such low HP, and now my parish count falls to zero, and I lose, lose one zero with that much HP left on my opponent's Pokemon. So that sucks. Great game, opponent. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.